Hello Ash class, I've come to sit outside in our learning garden to read you a story. Now this story is about Charlie and Lola. You might know those characters because they do have a television program. And my story is called, I am too absolutely small for school. I have this little sister Lola. She is small and very funny. Now mum and dad say she is nearly quite big enough to go to school. Lola is not so sure. Lola says, I am absolutely not big. I am still really quite small. She says, I probably do not have time to go to school. I'm too extremely busy doing important things at home. I say, at school you will learn numbers and how to count up to 100. And Lola says, I don't need to learn to count up to 100. I already know up to 10 and that's plenty. I have 10 fingers and I also have 10 toes. And I never eat more than 10 biscuits in one go. 10 is enough. Ooh, which is your favorite biscuit on that page? I think my favorite is the pink party ring. But Lola, I say, what if 11 eager elephants all wanted a treat? How would you count up how many treats that would be? Well, says Lola, I'm not quite sure. And I say, what about learning your letters, Lola? If you know how to write, you can send cards to people you like. And Lola says, I like to talk on the telephone. It's more friendly and straight away. But not everyone has a telephone, you know, Lola, I say. Who doesn't, says Lola. Father Christmas, I say. You have to write him a special note and put it up the chimney to tell his little helpers your Christmas wish. Otherwise, the little helpers might get your wish muddled up. Oh, I didn't know that, Charlie, says Lola. And Lola, I say, don't you want to read words? Then you'll be able to read your own books and understand secret messages written on the fridge. Lola says, I know lots of secrets. I don't need to read words and I've got all my books in my head. If I can't remember, I can just make them up. Oh, there's a secret message on the fridge. Shall I read it to you? It says, there is pink milk in this fridge. Lola loves pink milk. But Lola, I say, what would you do if there was an ever so angry ogre who would not go to sleep unless you read him his favourite bedtime story? Oh, I don't know, Charlie, says Lola. Then Lola says, well, Charlie, I would like to read to an ogre and count up elephants and put notes up the chimney, but I absolutely will not ever wear a schooliform. I do not like wearing the same as other people. And I say, but Lola, you don't have to wear a school uniform at our school. You can wear whatever you like. Oh, Lola's school is a bit different to Hinchley Wood Primary School, isn't it? Because we do wear a lovely school uniform. Lovely blue dresses, check dresses for the girls, and nice smart jumpers and shorts or trousers for the boys. Oh, says Lola, can I wear exactly what I like? Well, what Lola wants to wear to school. Do you think that's okay? That certainly suits you, but you can't go to school dressed as a crocodile. This is not a crocodile, says Lola. This is an alligator. You can't really go as an alligator either, because alligator is for best. For school, stripes are nice. Healy, says Lola. I like wearing stripes, said Lola, but what will I do at lunchtime? You know I will not ever eat a school dinner. My sister Lola is fussy about food. And I say, Lola, but you can take your very own packed lunch in your very own lunchbox. And Lola says, but I do not want to eat at school alone or by myself on my own. And I say, at Lola, you at school, you'll meet lots of new friends. You can have lunch with one of them. Our school dinners at Hinchleywood Primary School are delicious. I'm sure you're looking forward to them. Or maybe you'll bring your own packed lunch a bit like Lola. Then Lola says, I already have a friend. I have Soren Lawrenson. I'd like to have lunch at home with him. 
Simon Lawrence is Lola's invisible friend. No one knows what he looks like. If you look really carefully, you can just see him in that picture there. And I say, Simon Lawrence will be going to school too. What will he do if he can't sit next to you? Oh, you're right. Soren Lawrenson is a bit slightly nervous to be at school on his own. I'll have to absolutely go too, says Lola. Walking to school, Lola is all wobbly because she's feeling a bit nervous. She says Soren Lawrenson is feeling slightly not very well. He's worried he will not be able to count numbers, do letters and read words and no one will talk to him so he'll be all by himself on his own. Lola, I say, it will be okay. You'll be fine. I bet you'll both have a really good time. And school, and after school, we'll have pink milk at home. But all day, I'm worried, because I don't see her at playtime. And she's nowhere at lunchtime. Oh, Charlie's getting a bit worried. I can't find her at home time. She's not by her peg. But then, there she is. And she's not all alone by herself. She's hopping along home with somebody else. At home I say, Lola, I told you you'd have a good time. And Lola says, oh, I know, Charlie, I was not worried. It was Soren Lawrenson who was nervous, not me. I was fine. And there's Lola. She's made a new friend, that's Lotta who Lola met at school on her first day. And I'm sure you, when you start at Hinchley Woods Primary School, will make lots of new friends in Ash class. I hope you enjoyed our story and have a wonderful summer holiday and I will see you soon. Bye for now.